Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike Colleen at CrackedFemaleCode.com Okay, so this video is going to be, it's a random video because I just saw something online and I kind of wanted to give you um, an understanding of what's different between what I'm doing and what everyone else is doing out there. So this course is different. I mean, 180 degrees different. It is very hard for the male brain to grasp and understand in the beginning. Now here's why. The struggle between men and women is the very reason why this course is hard. Again, it's only in the beginning. So in the beginning, you kind of have to sit back and just listen to understand. So here's the struggle. The struggle is my course is a right brain course. That's the female brain. Or you could say it's the female hemisphere or the right hemisphere. Now men are very, very left brain. Some men do cross over to the right, especially physical athletes, guys like that. That's why I like guys that are very physical because the right brain is connected to your physical body and to your five senses, which are part of your physical body. So on an unconscious level, those men tend to have somewhat of better relationships with women because on an unconscious level, they're at least doing some of it. Now here's what I mean. Women are very right brain creatures. Men are very left brain creatures. And that's only one third of the challenge. So as I've said in the past in my videos, I'll make it real quick here. Men do things from the left brain. They perceive the, the, the world, they receive, per, sorry, perceive the world, perceive life, perceive relationships, perceive communication, and perceive everything from the left brain. The problem is she doesn't. Women perceive everything from the right brain and they consider that to be correct. Whereas you, you're like, no, 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 everything left brain is correct. Well, guess what? You're both right and you're both limited. See, Mother Nature or God or whatever you believe in designed men left brain and it designed the mating systems to be opposite for a higher purpose. There is a higher level of intelligence involved here. Okay, so number one, as I said in the past, men speak the left brain language. It means it's a linear language. It goes in a line, L-I-N-E-A-R, just linear. Yeah, linear, L-I-N-E-A-R. It means it goes in a line. The right brain language does not go in a straight line. It goes in an internal inward sp expanding spiraling direction now that sounds kind of what do you mean internal expanding it, it's it's exact okay honestly everything has to do with our sexual organs the male penis is an external linear thing the male language and the male brain processes in the external linear way like the old ibm computers the female vagina goes inward it's the internal sex organ the female language is the internal language the female processor is just like the vagina so you go inside you impregnate her sperm goes inside and then it gets bigger and bigger meaning her womb begins to expand and expand and expand the female language is the internal expanding 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 language The entire universe, everything, I mean everything from breathing in to breathing out, your heart beats in, your heart pushes blood out, pulls blood in, pushes blood out. The sink, the kitchen sink, you have water that comes in and then water that goes out. Everything that we do, even our brain is functioned this way. The right brain is the internal brain, the left brain is the external brain. And thus the male language is the external linear language. This is very foreign, odd, and strange to a woman. She literally can't understand it. I am not joking. And guess what? This language, this left brain processor, literally physically disconnects her from her right brain's communication center. Now, why is that important? Her mating system is in the same place as yours. It's in the lower reptilian brain. It, but for her, 
it has a nerve that curves off to the right brain's communication center. So when you're speaking the left brain, when your eyes are in that linear focused view, it literally turns her off sexually because it forces her to leave her right brain and go over to the left brain's processor to be on the same page as you to understand you as best she can. The problem is it literally turns her off. You took her out of her romantic brain and put her in her logical brain. Not very smart. Now here's how you do it. You're very focused and you're in, okay. When you're thinking, you're in your left brain. The left brain is the logical thinking brain. This is not romantic. It will never get her connected to her emotions and her feelings. Now, why is that important? Because her mating system is connected to the right brain, which is, which is the emotional processor. So what I do is I teach you how to open up to your right brain and then connect with her. As women say, I want to connect with you on an emotional level. Once you connect with a woman on an emotional level, then she'll drop down and connect with you sexually through her vagina. All the money in the world, the most expensive dinner in the world, none of this will make her fall in love with you. None of this will truly make her feel sexually attracted to you. See, this is where men really screw up, but, but it's really not your fault because you're wired this way. You're just doing what you're naturally wired to do. Your mating system is in the same place as hers, but you have two nerves that connect to the optic nerve that connect to your eyes. So men are visual. Believe it or not, but okay, not only that, but your visual, remember the left brain is the linear external brain? Well, it makes your pupils go narrow, which means you're going linear, straightforward, like you got blinders on. When you do this, it tells your mating system you are oblivious to what's around you, circular. The right brain is all about the circular expanse of awareness. A caveman that is aware in peripheral vision, auditory peripheral, kinesthetic peripheral, that's a caveman that can keep her safe. That's a caveman that can see when guys are about to manipulate them. When you're in that linear foveal focused view, not only does it turn her off sexually, it irritates her. It also makes her feel unsafe. So what happens is most women have to do the male's job, especially now in the year 2024. For the last 25 plus years, men have become so left brain, they don't even know it. They're like, what do you mean left brain, Mike? What are you talking about? Whereas women are extremely aware of it. Here's the really cool thing. When you learn how to open up in this internal way, then you think, wait, open up internally, that doesn't make sense. It does make sense. When you learn how to do this, it's an internal uh, expanding spiraling energy or the way of being just like this image, which is by the planets and the sun, etc. See, that's another example. Our whole universe is, is built upon this concept. And when you're completely disconnected to, from it, women are really turned off because it disconnects her from her mating system. So the really cool thing about it is when you learn how to physically do this neurologically, it gives you social power because your right brain is the social brain. The left brain is the follower brain. This course will radically shift your perspective. See, you think it's all about buying her things. Women do not like things at all. It actually offends them. See, things is a left brain concept. Things are external. It's Things are outside of your body. The right brain is all about your emotions, your feelings, your five senses, your internal self-awareness, etc., etc. If a man learns how to do these things, you gain social power, which means she's going to be better off down the road. This is what women respond to. I can't tell you how many times when you when you buy a woman a gift, whether I see it in public, a friend, myself has done it, and you buy her something that's expensive, you do something like that that's really, you know, you buy her roses, you make, you know, you pay for this expensive dinner at this really nice place, you make reservations, you go overboard, and she's like, well, that's nice, but that's not love. Now listen closely, that's nice, but that's not love. Listen to the tone. The right brain is all about tone. The left brain doesn't give a shit about tone. As women say, it's all about the way you say it. 
from your heart. If you're saying it from your logical brain, she, it turns her off. She's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Because she can tell you don't give a shit about her or the gift. You're just paying for something expensive thinking prostitution. Wait a minute, Mike. You're going a little weird sideways. No, I'm not. Most men, the way they look, the modern male looks at relationships as a financial exchange. Nothing pisses off a woman or hurts a woman worse than that. Why do you pay for an expensive dinner? Because you believe the more expensive the dinner, the more likely she's going to have sex with you. Nothing offends a woman more than that. Why did you buy her an expensive uh, set of dozen, a dozen long stem roses? Because you think, well, you know, it's expensive. It's like a hundred some dollars, Mike. And if I give this to her, we're definitely going to have sex. Yeah, prostitution. You just made her feel like a piece of shit when you did that. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you really know how to connect with a woman on an emotional level, you will never have to pay for a single thing. Not a dime. My ex-girlfriend had these roses out front. It was towards the end of summer. It was 100 degrees every day, and the, these roses were completely black and burnt, okay? Because their their front of their house faced the sun right when it was middle of summer, so no plants had a chance. So I walked up, and there was tiny little rose. I don't mean tiny, not even maybe an inch tall. And it was completely burnt, but it was in perfect form. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cute. So I picked it off, and I showed it to her. And there was a communication pattern, now listen closely, that I connected to the rose. She kept that rose even after we broke up years, many years later. And I asked her why. She was, well, because it's meaningful to me. And that's the key phrase right there. The right brain is all about meaningful. If you can connect with her on an, an emotionally meaningful level through this hidden right brain way, this hidden right brain language... She'll fall in love with you no matter what. She will stay with you through thick and thin. But if she marries you because you have a lot of money, ah, there's no connection. There's no bonding. There's no, you know, if you get in a car accident and you're crippled, well, she's going to leave you. If, um, I, I, you know, it's if a, if a guy that makes more, more money comes along, well, she's going to leave you. There is no loyalty. There is no bonding. You have to learn how to get a woman to bond with you on an emotional level through the internal way. If Once you learn how to do this, you can do this with any woman, anywhere, anytime for the rest of your life. Now, the first step that you take to taking my course is number one, buy my book, Crack the Female Code, and read that book crack the female code okay so go to crack the female code dot com if you want to get all my books buy my ultimate package it's called the ultimate package if you read all those books in that package I think it's a total of four books and then you get the intro to the internal language okay it gives you it kind of um it pre-starts you and presets you so when you take the course, you understand the course much faster and it's a lot easier. Now, there's one thing I want to re-mention. This gives you social power. People will begin to respect you more by learning. There's a third of the course that teaches you how to be what we call internal. This is where you get your power from. If you're using your external brain, that's the brain that's looking to others. You automatically show people that you're a follower. If you've ever wondered, well, why do some guys just people just look to them and listen to them, follow them? It's because on an unconscious level, they're doing something that other people aren't. They probably were raised by their mother and picked up on it unconsciously without realizing that they're doing it. And I bet you, you know at least one or more guys that they're not big, they're not strong. They never even took boxing lessons. They didn't, they didn't do any sports and yet people respect them. People listen to them. It's because there's something that they're doing that, believe it or not, but this guy's not doing. This guy's all about the external world. Muscles is all about left brain. Let me talk about that for a sec before I get out of here. Men think the way men think. And guess what? That is not the way women think. And that's not the way her mating system is turned on. If you do it in the male way, I promise you, you will turn her off and she will resent you. All right, that's it, guys. Buy my book, Crack the Female Code now, and I'll leave some more videos up for you to learn more. 
Go to crackedfemalecode.com. If you like this video, click subscribe, click the like button, make a comment. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye.